Now they're begging me to tear it up. The key to making this puppy is to build it and bake it in stages. For breakfast, it's scrambled eggs with a Bloody Mary sauce. Lunch is a little chicken Caesar salad. Dinner, we got mac and cheese with bacon. And we'll let dessert be a sweet, sweet surprise. Before we do anything else, we're gonna prep breakfast and lunch. What better than to make a Bloody Mary sauce? Well, Bloody Mary is usually the drink of champions, but we're gonna make it to the breakfast of champions. So we'll start off with just traditional pasta sauce, but we're gonna amp it Okay, up. amp it, man. I horse got some radish. horseradish right here. That's a root, it's extremely spicy. It'll help you grow, you know. I'm just gonna shave some celery leaves right off into there. Okay, what else you got? Lemon zest, a little bit of zesty zest. Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of that. Tiny bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Just gonna blend it up. Woo. It's like a cocktail sauce on crack. Bloody Mary sauce, done. Eggs, Do can't it. go without it. Cube up the pepper, saute that up first. Pour in the egg, add a little cheese, but I'm not gonna cook it too much because the egg is going on top of the pizza. Why are you telling me? I don't really care. You need to know <laughs> this stuff. Caesar dressing is something that Julius Caesar himself used to <laughs> love, I'm sure. But you add the mayo, you add the mustard, you sprinkle in a bunch of this parmigiano. Olive oil goes in like whoosh. Rice vinegar goes in like whoosh. You cut this up right here, lemon, Mike. A little bit of salt, a little bit of that shire and pepper. Fry down a little bit of pancetta, which is kind of like bacon. Got this crispy pancetta, like I said. If you want to make pancetta crispy, you just go like that. <laughs> take that grease in the pancetta, you add it into the Caesar. I'm gonna take some of this chicken here, funky chicken. But any chicken will do, as long as it's delicious. Little romaine lettuce. And then we just add this in, right? Why use utensils when you can use your hands? Really good trick. We just bought a dough at our local pizza shop. Instead of making it for a few hours, letting it rise, letting it rest, all that bullshit. Yeah! You can use the regular flour, but we're a fan of the cornmeal. Just start working it on the sides. Make and then just start corn. pushing it out with your hands. Roll it out with the bacon jar. Like, this is looking pretty good. Yeah. Uh, one thing, though, you want to try to keep a little bit of crust, because I don't know about you, buddy, but I like the crust. All you need is a little tin foil, a little bit of love. If you have extra olive oil, don't wash it off. Just like, you know, kind of go like this. Get a little bit in here, yeah. kind of up there, put it on your neck. One, two, three, and perfect. We start with a little bit of our Bloody Mary sauce. That holds our eggs right there. Right, we only need so much breakfast. Then on to the lunch. I'm gonna do a little bit of oil around there, a little Parmesan around. There's Parmesan already in there, but the Parmesan base, you need something for the base. Now we gotta put some cheese down for our mac and cheese base layer. Mac attack. You always have a jar mac of bacon. Mac and cheese and bacon out. work great. For the dessert base, I got a little something special for you. Just take a little bit of strawberries. Sprinkle me some sugar. All right. Mix these all around. Base layers are done, so we're gonna throw it in the oven for five to 10 minutes to really start the baking. Time for toppings. So we've got our chicken Caesar for lunch. And guess what we're gonna pop right in the center for breakfast? Scrambled eggs. Next, we do dinner. Mac and cheese. Boiled noodles very quickly. A little pasta dinner. We're gonna put a little cheddar on top. Speaking the okay. word of the doing? Lord. What are you doing for dessert? I've got these chocolate cookies here. They're cream filled, they're <laughs> delicious. I'm just crushing up my favorite treats. Marshmallows are, it's just knit. <laughs> I don't even, like it's barely even possible to know what they're really made. That's genius, so that's gonna be the perfect I amount. Know it's genius, just... I thought of it. Double. Ah! Back in the oven for seven minutes to finish it off. We're making pizza. Pizza's oh, done, God. pizza's done. Where am I? <laughs> what the hell's going on here? A little bit of sauce to take it over the top. Little barbecue zip, my Jeez. pizza's gonna freaking blow your goddamn mind. Next up, spicy Ooh, sour that's cream. that's sexy. Right on the mac and cheese. A little shaved chocolate. I know you like it shaved, so I'm gonna do a Keep little shaved. Keep it fresh. Keep it shaved. Oh, whoa. whoa. <laughs> the moment you guys have been waiting shaved. for. Pizza, cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm getting breakfast, Whoa. but I'm also Whoa. getting a little lunch in there. It's like brunch mm. right there. What? This really is the gift that just keeps on giving. Find out how to make your own four-course pizza. Come by and see us at brothersgreen.mtv.tv.